I did not start really living my life until I became comfortable with being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Allie mentioned you have to leave your comfort zone. And I spent my entire life in that little comfort zone and I was afraid to leave it for many different reasons. Uh, one of those reasons was um, I was afraid to fail. You have to respect yourself. You have to like who you are. You always have to be striving towards achieving greatness. And it's amazing what can happen when you are in an inspired state of mind, right? Um, well, all of, all of you possess a lot of these traits. I don't think anyone possesses all of them. But this, these are symbols of success, aren't they? These are traits of success. And the less fearful you are of making mis mistakes, the more uh, your passion you know, propels you forward, the more aha moments you're gonna have, and you're gonna start to have them all of the time. But you can't have those aha moments unless you are in an inspired state of mind. We're all looking for financial freedom. I don't think it's the word financial that we focus on so much, but it's the word freedom, right? It's what having money in the bank allows you to do, and that's live your life freely the way you want to. Whether it be retire early, or put your kids through better schools, or travel around the world, whatever it is that you want to do, real estate is a wonderful vehicle to help you get there. And what's great about it is it's for everybody, isn't it? It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you have money in the bank. There are so many different ways to invest in real estate. Um, there are three types of investors. There's what I like to call treadmill investors. They're running on the treadmill and they're running hard, but guess what? They're not going anywhere and they sure are building up a sweat. And then there's what I like to call ladder investors. They're climbing the ladder and it's a pretty high ladder and they're working really hard and they're moving, but they're not getting there very quick, but at least they're getting somewhere. And then there are the people who build a system with a team. And that system, that machine, is an elevator. And they get inside and they press the button, it takes them right on to the top, pretty easily. 30% of all business owners in the country today are women. How awesome is that? I think that's incredible. You know, uh, we're able to be mothers and, and wives and you know, have successful careers and juggle it all. Um, but also, when polled during the USA Today census last year, 60% of all baby boomers have not planned properly for retirement. That's more than half, and that's kind of scary. And of those 60% who have not planned properly for retirement, the overwhelming majority of them are women. 90% of success is simply showing up. And it, and it really is. Because I know a lot of people who, I could say they're financially literate, but they're not doers. And so what does is, what is all that literacy do for you if you don't do anything with it, right? You could read the encyclopedias and you can know everything about everything. And unless you apply that to something that's going to help you achieve your goals, you have an idealistic goal of how you want your life to be, right? But it's really not attainable, it, but it's in your mind, okay? And everybody knows what that is for them. But even though it's not attainable, it's what drives us forward to achieve attainable goals. The problem is, is that we judge ourselves based on the idealistic goals instead of the realistic ones.